Okay, I want to welcome you guys to Smith's the Rinks Hemolar Department. Today we're going to focus on the Hemolar Mosul. Probably our best selling recliner in the shop, if not in the Hemolar range. This one here is the Hemolar Mosul Maxi Recliner. Available in two sizes, you can choose from manual or electric. In our shop here, we have the Mosul Maxi Manual, shown here in 31 Earth, with the best selling wood choice F05 Beach Shaded. Just to show you the other side, we have the Mosul MIDI. We don't have to weigh around here. This is the Mosul MIDI. This is slightly narrower and also slightly shallower in seat height. Uh, and then next to it, we also have the Mosul Maxi Electric. Now, the electric version is a dual motor system, so it has independent operation of the backrest and the footrest using the Cumulate Action. This one here is shown in 31 Eason leather. So if we go back towards the Mosul Maxi over here, this is say, the manual version. We have a thing called the gas sprung back. It is operated using this handy toggle here. When you pull that there, it allows the backrest to go into any position that you want. And then when you release the little toggle on there, it stops the position that you like. This is the new version. So this one has got a slightly longer footrest than the predecessor. This is the model we are currently uh, offering. This one has approximately five centimeter longer footrest than the previous model and it also has a new ratchet headrest now the ratchet headrest system makes it much easier to operate that headrest so you can put that into position there this is particularly useful when you are actually reclined when you're sort of in the upright position the headrest uh, doesn't really lend itself that well so you're better off actually having the backrest back the headrest to kind of show its true potential put that back up there so it's like on a stiffer mechanism to go backwards and it's to come forwards that's nice and easy. So I'm going to show you the leathers that are available on these chairs as well. So everything in here at the moment is 31 Earth. That is our best selling leather. As you can see, this is our full rind display here. What I've done is I've put the 31 leathers out here alongside the wood board. Now we are offering uh, sort of one-to-one -one calls available on these on video calls. So if you have any questions and things, we can run through uh, the actions and if you've got any queries about seat tensions, wood options, we can also send photographs of the leathers alongside the woods for a better sort of impact of the colours. So, um, the leathers here. So we've got two 31 swatches. We've got 31 cognac here, 31 scent, really bright coloured yellow, uh, which we do actually have a chair in the yellow, which we've got in the corner over there. Anyway, I'll come back to what we've got over here. So, this particular swatch, I'm going to try and get, if I just come alongside, I'll get the woods and the leathers in the same shot if possible and hopefully this is you can sort of see the different colors as we go through there we go so everything that Himola use is a beach frame on the Mosul it's a steam bent frame so it's curved as you can see on there and you can choose the different the finish actually that's applied to the beach they also do these ones down here they do a marble and a concrete look now these have a textured finish so you don't get the wood effect coming through the stains like you do on the others as you can see and there's the fo5 shaded beach i do think in the sample book uh, it doesn't really highlight the edge there but you get a darker finish as you can see it's actually on the frame to get a bit more character to it that's the fo5 so we're gonna have a quick run through the leathers here and try and get a bit of a better angle so you can see the woods alongside that's much better so you can see so we start off in this book here. This one's called 31 Long Life. Now they have a 31 Long Life and a 31 Long Life Soft. Not a huge difference between the two. They do categorize them as the same quality of leather. They just put them in two different swatches. So we've got 31 Cognac. Now this used to be a really good selling leather on the Chester model many years ago. Uh, so it's still available, really nice tan leather on there. It's actually 31 Cognac. Uh, just double check this one. Move to the new Zigar leather, 31 Zigar. Let's so show it alongside. Zigar, so we have Zigar on our Chester model here. As you said, Cognac was the colour that we used to have on Chester. Uh, and then we moved to 31 Lava, and now we're in Zigar. Zigar is selling really well, particularly on Chester. But again, people do like to buy what they see. So that's the Chester. We've also got the curved Chester there. Uh, Chester Mini recliner, but we're going to do another video on Chester at the point, just showing you the, the colour options there. So that's your Zigar. We've again got 31 Niger. This is a nice brown leather. You can sort of get an idea of that on there, alongside the woods as well. So if you're looking for a brown, the Niger is a bit of a winner when it comes to that. So then we've got the Senf, the bright yellow. 
I don't really think it lends itself too well to the Mosul. Anything with wood, uh, I'd steer clear of if you're going for a bright yellow. It tends to sort of go with the more modern recliners uh, with the silver bases and things. But again, I'll show you them in another video. And we've got 31 Rouge, I believe. Yep, 31 Rouge we've got there. This is a new red leather. It's got a bit more texture to it, really, when you look at it. There you kind of think about it there. I'll show you that alongside the woods. Okay, and then we move down to 31 more. Another new leather. Quite a dark colour, again, alongside the woods. And then 31 Eason. Now, the Eason is the one that we have on our recliner just here, on our Mosul. Mosul Electric. Actually, Eason. Leather. A bit more texture to it again. Kind of a textured leather, something that Himola have brought out in a few of their ranges. Okay, actually 31 swatch. Now this is, I guess, the master swatch of Himola. Pretty much everything we sell by Himola is normally out of this swatch here. 31 is a really good starting point to look at when it comes to sort of choosing leathers. It's pretty much got every sort of colour palette uh, to a degree, and I'd only really recommend looking at other leather uh, grades you can't find something in the 31. So we are going to focus on 31 today. But if there is something in here that you don't like, I can obviously, we can do a one-to-one -one video or I can send you some photographs of leathers alongside the wood boards. So we'll start off, we've got 31 blue, which you've got here, as you can see there. And then we've got 31 marine, which is there. The pan, so you can see the woods alongside. And I will show you a suite we have in the blue. Blue's been selling really well this year one here which is called Azure. This model here we've got a two-seater wall hugger, two and a half seater electric wall hugger, that one is a manual wall hugger, and then we've got the manual recliner. This is what I meant when I was talking about sort of all modern recliners with the silver bases. This one we've got a stainless steel base, you can also have a black base, we have on the lift and rise version of it. Let me just pull that round. That's your lift and rise version with the black base on there. And back, uh, as you can see, this is fine past. This is 24 style, this is a 24 leather, a smoked texture to it. And I kind of say, as you can sort of see, this is a thinner leather than you get on the 31. It does sort of contour slightly differently, as you can sort of see. Let me just go back on this gimbal. You can see over larger expanses, you might get a little bit of puddling in 24 leathers, because I say the leather's not quite as thick, but that is a characteristic of leather, something you do get sort of the larger seat, seat areas. Okay, there's the next two. 31 Cherry, we've got here, nice and bright red if you want something pretty loud. Uh, and then 31 Nougat, again another brown. I'll show you that alongside the Niger that we looked at earlier. Very similar to be honest, in fact almost exactly the same, but they are two different leathers, so that's why I'm showing you them both. Again, alongside your wood board. And we're going to go through the next two. So we've got 31 June, 31 Plum, two leathers there. Alongside your woods. Okay, right, next two. 31 Rave. And 31 Earth. Now, the Rabe is the best black. If you're looking for a black leather, this one is hands down the best. This is the one that sells the most. Uh, obviously, the black leather, if you want it in a, on your Mosul, for instance, if you want it to kind of look a bit more contemporary in terms of uh, blacks and things, you can go with the black and you can have a non wood finish, like we were saying before. So, if you went for a black with a concrete or a black with a marble look, it kind of removes that wood element of things. And again, quick pan of your woods alongside there. So Earth, hands down, best-selling leather, which is why we've got all our Rhine suite here in the Earth, uh, including the Mosul. Again, Mosul there, Earth FO5 beach shaded, best-selling combination. And then go to the next two. We've got here, we've got 31 Fells, 31 Rausch. Now Fells, we used to actually have part of our Rhine Suite in Fells. Uh, why we changed it, I don't know. Uh, probably going to change that back actually because Fells was a really good alternative to the Earth. If I show you them alongside, if people like the Earth, want something a little bit lighter, the Fells works really nice. Actually, Fells in there. 
do, do, do. and Roush. So Roush is a little bit of a darker version. Again, I'm just going to bring them back in into the same view so you can see. Three. The Roush is quite dark, to be honest. Uh, we do sell a lot more of these two colours than the Roush. We're going to show you that with the woods. I think up there keeps going off a bit. There we go. Get an idea of everything. Now, next one, I've got Jasmine and I've got Stone. So, again, keeping to this grey palette, Stone's a little bit darker than the Roush. You can see on there, difference between the two. And Jasmine. So, Jasmine's the best cream. Uh, 31 letters. I do have one in the window. I'll show you a Jasmine. It's snowing outside at the moment. Where's it gone? Ah, here we go. It's down here actually. So this is Jasmine, 039 Beach Country Cottage. This is one of the L recliners. So this is different to the standard mode of Cumulay and standard different to the Mosul in that it doesn't have a built-in footrest. As you can see it's got the exterior footrest. It's a bit of a back step, I guess, but some people don't like the footrest option. So we do have the L available. And there's a Brock recliner, that's a lift and rise. That goes with our Brock Brent Brennan suite, which again I'll show you in another video. Back over here. Okay. So there we go. Oh, that's the end of that side. And then we've got the lava. Now lava again, I'm gonna fold Jasmine back over because I say that's a cream, it's not really in the same sort of colour palette. There is the lava colour. We did used to have our Chester suite in lava. We do actually have a, a, so a chair in Chester, in, in lava in Chester, which I will show you. I'm going to bring these three back round again. So these three here are really good sellers. So we've got lava, fells, earth. Nice sort of colourways there of a varying degree of grey. Everybody likes greys because they go with so much. Okay. And that's the 31 swatch. I'm going to quickly show you the Chester in the lava that we have over here. So this is a lift and rise Chester I'm back over here. in the lava. There we go. Okay. So while you're here, I'm also going to quickly show you the operations of the Mosul Maxi dual motor electric. So Mosul Maxi here. Uh, this is the max, I say, maxi version, it means the large version. So in Chester, they do a mini and a midi, which I guess is a small and a medium. Uh, in Mosul, they just do midi, maxi, so I guess medium and large. Now, the maxi does outsell the midi by quite some way. Customers do like the extra space that you get um, in the seating area on there for comfort. I'm going to show you how the operation works. So this is actually a brand new chair uh, we've got. So this one's got operation of backrest and footrest independently. So I'm going to be able to, because it is a battery one, the battery is fully charged, I hope. I'm just going to move that out of the way. Actually, I'm just going to take those cars out there so you can see the chair fully. Okay, so electric Mosul, dual motor operation. You have a manual operated headrest, same as you have on the manual version. So they don't have electric headrests on the Mosul or the Ryan suite. Now this one, you can operate the backrest, as you can see, nice and easy. But what I'm going to show you is with the footrest. So when the footrest operates on cumuli action, the backrest does tilt back. Now this is actually an advantage because what it does is it pushes your lumbar support into the really generous lumbar support that they have on the Mosul chair. So as this goes back, I'll show you. You can see, it comes out. So this is the longer footrest there, about five centimeters longer than the previous ones. I'm about six foot, just about six foot one, uh, and I find this very comfortable. Um, the the previous footrest on the old model, with it being the five centimeters shorter, although it doesn't sound much, it did actually make a bit of a difference. So when I'm on this now, I do find the heels of my feet are actually on the end of the footrest, which is nice and nice and comfortable. So, as you can see, there we go. So big advantage of electric over manual, you can stop this footrest wherever you like. So you can stop it just there, but you can go all the way back in. I'm going to show you all the way out as well. So, backrest, footrest comes up, and then you can operate your backrest. And you can stop that wherever you want as well. 
just going to show you the full extent of it going all the way back. And then we've got an all up button. So on this one here, pressing it all up. So the backrest comes all the way up and your footrest begins to go in as well. So that's kind of like phone's ringing kind of button that you want to get out of the phone. Pick up the phone. There we go. Okay, so that's the laptop there, move out of the way. Okay, so that's your dual motor. I'm going to show you how this one operates here as well. I'm going to flip this around to you, see me now. Forgive my casual clothes today. I say we're currently closed. Okay. So, mobile maxi. Position it. Put the headrest back up. Okay, so this is the new one with the detail mask on, longer foot rest, so nice, easy, 360 double base, foot rest, push back, so human action, both hands on either arm, push back, foot rest comes out, as you can see, as I said, I do have relatively long legs, my feet are nice and comfortable on there now, back rest operation, got this little toggle here, if you have it in fabric, this is in fabric, it's on your right hand side, you can specify left, but it is a special, that's something we'd have to talk about, don't that for whatever reason. So it goes back nice and easy, you can stop that where you want, and then you can just crack that headrest forward. So that means when you're watching television, reading the book, you are looking straight forward. And then put the footrest down, slide forward, and you go. And there you go, and it's back. You can also get the extra height ring. Height ring raises it by two and a half centimetres. It comes in a matching uh, wood colour to your frame. You can add it at a later date. And basically, it will change the contact surface of the ground as well. So if you've got a wood floor, the height rings are actually quite good because you can put uh, felt pads on them a lot easier. And this, this chair basically sits inside that ring, so it can be taken off. If you order it with the chair, it comes factory fitted, but like I say, it can be taken off if you want it or added at a later date. So I'd recommend the height ring for people that are over six foot. So you can kind of see I'm sat in the chair now. It's a bit of a gap behind my legs there. So obviously the height ring, when you are reclined, doesn't make any difference because it's completely off the ground. So when you're sat in the chair, if you have the height ring on there, it will change my legs, so my legs will sit a bit more like that. I also find it changes your position, so you will sit further back in the chair because the height ring sort of lifted you up. So that's a good position. And that's the Mosul Max manual. Okay. So, for leathers and samples and things, we obviously have quite a big display at Camola here. So here we are definitely a Hamola specialist. Pretty much half of our ground floor is Hamola. This isn't all of it actually. There's some in the window as well and on the two stands as you come in. As I mentioned, I showed you the Brent Brock chair earlier. This is the Brent and Brennan with another Brock. We've got Monaco. We also got that as a corner unit as you come in the shop the matching chair that goes with that. Then we've got the Swan Suite. So three-seater curved with table, two-seater manual. Signet, this is a really contemporary suite. It's got a nice silver base on there. It's got the central drop-down table and two and a half manual. Like I say, we're probably gonna do some more of these videos. This is the first one that we've done. And then our Ryan Suite. So I'll give you a quick overview because the Ryan is kind of linked to the Mosul in that it shares the same backrest and seat pad. So as you can see, we've got a Rhine three-seater or reclining sofa here. You can get this as manual or electric. And we've got a two and a half seater Rhine here. We've got this one shown as an electric model. We also have the Rhine large armchair. Now they do do a medium. Uh, we don't have the medium anymore because we didn't really have any call for it. We just found the large cell so well. The Rhine suite does come on casters when you get the chairs. So the chairs come on casters, but the sofas come on what we call glides. I'm trying to get this gun to go. They're on the glide, glide foot down there. But I'm going to do another video on Brian, but I'm just kind of giving you a bit of an overview at the moment. Okay. It's not going to be so, samples, we can get them sent in the post. They can get them sent direct from Germany. They normally take about five working days to come through. Wood samples, they don't do. What we can do is get you some really nice pictures showing the, I'm just going to try and get that to focus, showing the woods alongside the leathers. And I'm just giving you a bit of an overview again. Now, wood, like anything, 
anything natural does have variants, so certainly in grain structure and slightly in colour. Now this is obviously a book that's kept closed, so light exposure is kept to a minimum, but say if it was kept in sunlight, I'd expect it to have changed a little bit. But anyway, so that's a really good overview of colours and things. So, so my name is Ollie. If you do have any questions on Imola, we can do these video calls on a one-to-one -one basis, which okay, people are finding very helpful. Or you can send photographs, are available on email at the moment. Obviously we are closed at the moment due to the uh, pandemic that's going on. We hope to be open again soon, but in the meantime, I just thought I'd do these videos just to give people a bit of an overview of what we do here. So delivery and everything with Hemola, always free of charge, always done by our own delivery teams as well, just to make sure these get to you in perfect condition. Our own delivery drivers will come deliver, install and assemble everything if assembly is required. So yeah, if you've got any questions, I say, my name's Alan. Thank you very much.